Welcome back to The Infected. This is part 8 and we are at the local copper cave setting up defenses for a horde night. I'd also like to really get the stove made. That would be really cool. And then we go, what, wood log. Bam. So some zombies can... Yes, I'm calling them zombies. Some zombies can one-shot these. Um, if they get a critical hit or whatever. But... Hey, we're not worried about that, are we? Okay, we got plenty of rope left and stuff. So, I don't know. We could make more, I guess. Yeah, that looks like they're gonna jump up there. Yep, this is gonna be a long walk home. I don't even know if it's worth it, to be honest. Two very boring minutes later. Yep, there you go. I don't know. Yeah, I guess we could just make it anyway. Right, why not? It doesn't use anything that we need for the truck. Right, plank, wood log, aluminium, electrical parts. Let's, let's, do, let's do it, let's do it. I put the aluminium I needed in the brick forge, but didn't have any coal. So I went to get some. After making two storage containers, getting stung by so many scorpions, grinding for ages, I finally had two storage containers worth of coal. I'm just gathering up a lot of coal. So I don't have to come back all the time and I've set up a bit of a defense there for when horde nights happen. I left the cave to go home. What, what do, oh shit! What do you mean I use the mining? <laughs> Not again. Well we do have a lot of- oh we needed iron. We do have a lot of medicated bandages so it's not a big deal. Let's uh, get that on a guy quick. Yeah, I got tons of bandages back at the base. I used the coal to smelt the aluminium. And now I had the aluminium to make the water house. There we go. There we go, come on. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we need wood logs and that's it okay let's go get them okay and we're just gonna call it water house so we need to connect power using uh, i don't know wire it said here i guess and then, I do have wire, I have it. Okay, there's our wire. It seems as if the solar panels generate 20 more. And they're almost just as easy to make, if not easy. Enough. What? I don't really understand that, but sure. Just like that. And then four log six planks. There we go. This. Yes, it can. Fantastic. So if I put this like up here, over here. One of those there I think that there two copper two cobalt and screws am I I'm overheating seriously bam bam I can't wait for, I'll probably do a video on the road map as well. Um, let's see, we got base defense, road map, village guide, tutorial. <laughs> I got a decent amount of videos here to make guys. I hope, oh, I'll fix the lighting in just a second. I hope you're ready to watch them all.
what do we need? We need iron and a lot of it. Now, what is the quickest way to get iron? Early game. Like, what's the quickest way to get iron? I would go out and get tons of stones and cook them up. Okay, let's do that. Where, where's my other crate at? Okay, and then we're just gonna grab that. Run in here. Gonna slap that down over here. Yep. We're gonna grab that out. We're gonna grab as many rocks as we can here. And I don't think there's any need for steel anymore, at least right now. Okay, cool. And just have those going like crazy. Go to sleep. Yep. Now if we go to the front over here. Now I can take them all out with this one spear. And it'll barely go down with any true ability. But I've been told this is the way to go, so I want to see what it's like. Will they all come here? Will they go to my base? Or will they spawn behind me? Let's find out. Yep, they come here, nice. So this would be really handy, like, if you got some upgraded spikes, once you were, like, pretty good with iron, this would be good when you have iron. Oh, shit! You know, like, uh, 20, 30, 100, 50, you know, 50, 100 zombies. That's what this would be really good for. how easy and quick that was. I guess it's not a point, but it's very really quick. Um, and really simple. Then the fact that it's actually good. Um, I don't know. I think if there were upgraded spikes, it would do a better job. I just don't have the iron fragments for that right now. You know, I just don't have it. It's not a thing. So let's go the next day. And give. And we can put it right there. Firewood and screws. We can do those too. Plank, aluminium. Yeah, we can make the sink as well. Let's do it. Let's make these things. Ooh. Water house needed and pump must be turned on. So where can we really put these? Okay. So that's how this works. We're just going to go like that. Like that. And then we'll place one like this. I want it to be a little neat. So we're gonna have to make some more of these foundations like this. Let's make sort of a solar panel farm, you know? It's out the back here. Uh, I need two wood logs there. Okay, let's go. What do I need? Uh, water. We'll get some water for you. 
Let's hold on one moment, my guy. You'll be okay. And but. That's annoying that you gotta have pants and pots. It makes sense, however. Like this. Oh boy. Okay, where are you? I'm not spraying them out as much because I want to try and fit as many as these I, as I can and then at the back I might use wind turbines I don't know how it's gonna work we'll see hopefully there should be like enough power I feel like wind turbines would be good if it's like a storm and stuff you know I put down lots of batteries for the solar panels. My goals were very high. Yeah, one more. Mechanical parts, iron ignits, steel and plastic. We can go ahead and start putting that stuff in there. And I don't see why not, you know? So mechanical butts done, steel done, iron ignits not done, I forgot to bring the iron ignits, god damn it. Now we just need some plastic, if only this place would respawn its plastic. I finally added the iron I needed to the control panel, junction book, electrical relay and wall switch. In the wall switch water house since that's the only electrical thing I had right now. I then added iron to the solar panels to give me power. What do I need for one of these batteries? Lead ignit, copper, electrical parts, okay. So does this work? Power in, number panels two, power panel 40. Uh, okay. I'm in danger. Thank you so much for following. Let's get some stamina up. So I'll probably set up a cobalt one there. Or there? I don't know. I'll have to see. Oh, I forgot to bring the oil. I finished off the third solar panel, giving me a total of 120 power. I then used wire to connect the control panel to the junction box and then to the water house. This power stuff is very confusing, but once I get a handle on it, I'm going to do a video on it, so look out for that. Now the water house was connected up, I went and checked the control panel and junction box and turned on the power. Six power stored? Then we'll just need to move the greenhouse on top of these as well. And that'll stay totally hydrated. Won't ever need a water plants again, which will definitely encourage me to use plants more. Absolutely. So no point in doing it now. Right, because... We just really need more plastic to finish off that, um, tr to finish off the truck. If you enjoyed watching, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. 
If you want to see the full series, click this box. And if you want to see my other series, click this box. Thank you for watching and see you in part 9.